So it turns out that a lot of you guys aren't really the biggest fans of the Marvel Spider-Man 2 uh, Kid Super collaboration suits. So let me introduce you to Tango's classic suit where you can build your own with over 1 million combinations. So pretty much almost every single person that downloads this can create their own unique mod. And a lot of you guys requested for me to do a tutorial on this. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing exactly that. I'm gonna be teaching you exactly how to build your own modular suit and what goes into it because it seemed to be confusing for a lot of you guys. So what you wanna do first is you wanna go click the link in the description that takes you to the Nexus mods page here. And once you are here, you're going to see the, the following. So what you want to do is you actually want to go into the files here, right? And just manual download both of these. So these are the classic suits and then these are the suit modules. So this is to customize everything. And this is like the, the base suits that you want to have installed. Okay, so the next step you want to do is you actually want to go into your Marvel Spider-Man remastered uh, directory. And you're going to right click here, manage, and then you're going to go to browse local files. So the next step, you're going to open up the uh, zip files here with all of the classic like, so the classic suits and then the classic suit modules. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the following. So create a new folder here in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered directory, then double click in there, create a folder called classic suits and also suit models, which is what I've done to make it a bit easier. And then for the classic suits, you're gonna actually end up dragging these following ones in here, right? And then you're gonna do the same thing in the suit models. You're gonna end up dragging all of this. So an easy thing you can do is press Control and A, and then it'll highlight everything. Then you can just drag it in here like this. And then you can just, you know, I, I replace it because I need to, but your folder will be empty. So you're going to be okay. The next step requires you to have Overstrike, which I'm sure you already do. And if you don't, I actually have a tutorial on the channel for this. So I'll leave that in, in the description. But you double click it, you open it up, and then this is going to be what you're going to see. Now, I have mods installed already, but if you've got a blank uh, sort of like mod con configuration, don't worry. And the next thing you want to do to install the Tango mods is you want to go click the plus here right and then it's going to open up your uh location here if you don't have it just uh open this up and then copy the directory up above and then paste it here and it will take you there now what you want to install first is you want to do the classic suits right so you want to do the classic suit and all the dlc ones that come with it um so you're okay to install all of these now we just got to wait for it to actually install them here. So give that just a second. So now that we have them installed here, the next step is actually the customization part, which is what you want to see. But first I'm going to boot up the game to show you what it looks like without any modifications. So now we're in the game here and you go into your suits if you don't see it. And sometimes, you know, you might just see like these layers, you just click down uh, on your D-pad to go to the next one. But now you can see we've got the classic suit installed and then this is what it would look like default okay so you know these lenses are default and if you want to replace if you don't want to replace the lenses you just don't install them so everything that you install actually replaces something um you know you've got the logo here you've got the web wings you've got all the different colors and i'm going to show you that in a second um then you also actually have the webman suit right Webman suit looks pretty cool. I think the only thing that replaces on this uh, variant here is you can remove the um, the web wings. You can change the logo and the lenses, nothing else. You can't change anything to do with the negative zone suit. This is just a DLC. Um, then you've got the FEMA version. This one's fully compatible with all the changes like the actual classic suit. So it'll reflect on here as well. And then you've got the cell shaded suit, which again is just the cell shaded suit right like it doesn't change anything on here so now let's go into the options and start replacing things okay so if you have overstrike open we can start installing and customizing the different suit modules here so you can see exactly how it all works so the way you want to do this is quite simple right you kind of pick and choose what you want you don't install everything i've seen so many people just drag everything in there and then wonder why it wasn't working you just choose a bit of something right like you, you just choose something right so i'm gonna i'm gonna have this like this so you can see everything kind of more clearly but 
we're gonna go for the sake of this video we're gonna use my favorite lenses we're gonna use the fake red lenses right so you double click these right bam and you want to make sure they are installed under the classic suit right that's very important here then we can also install the yellow filter for like yellow lenses as well and that's quite simple as well you just install this stage file right the eye color yellow okay so then you're gonna have yellow lenses right simple stuff then the next thing we can choose here are the web shooter colors um, I'm probably gonna go for gold here because why not right like so it kind of stands out a bit more so you know you scroll down until you find the actual um, web shooters here and there they are these are the colors for the web shooters right so we're gonna choose the gold right otherwise if you don't change it it stays as default so if you like default things you don't change that okay. now the next thing I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna change this to be you know we're gonna have the souls be like black and red accented I think that will look pretty nice right so we go to find the souls here there they are so we're gonna choose black with red accents right so now we've already customized like four things here so far then we go to the logos and you can have so this is the default so if you don't touch anything it stays like this otherwise you can either make it white by adding a module or like a stage file to replace the color or you can change it to be any of these emblems here and I'm gonna go for my favorite one which is gonna be the uh, Earth 982 logo because I, I enjoy the sort of bigger logos on the suits I think they're pretty cool so there we go and then for the sake of this tutorial as well I'm going to add the white color as well to kind of change what it looks like in game a bit more so you can see the differences a lot more right then we can also toggle the web wings on or off if you want them on you don't change anything but if you want your web wings to be removed then what you want to do is you want to install the web wings uh toggle state like toggle.stage file which is right here so now we're not going to have the web wings on okay then comes the very fun part here you can actually end up choosing which uh default colors or primary colors you want to have for your spidey suit so you could go for like red default so you don't change that you can go rose you can go orange red webman blue valentine blue or negative black for the sake of this one i think i'm gonna just go with i'm gonna go with a very polarizing color i guess i think that might be a bit better and by polarizing i might just go with the uh probably not the webman blue we might just go with the negative uh color here so it's like the most different so you can see the differences here for yourself and we've got the primary colors here so there's the uh, uh so, okay so that's the secondary one so we want to choose the black primary there we go so now we have that and then for the other thing here you want to choose your secondary secondary color and you've got quite a few different options you have blue you've got black you've got 6160 blue you've got metallic blue you've got purple retro purple red unlimited blue you've also got white and you've also got remita blue so i might make mine look quite different here by maybe doing the I don't know we can do like metallic blue i guess like metallic blue sounds pretty pretty cool so we'll, we'll do that one that's the secondary here and there's the metallic blue right so now that you have all of these installed and you want to make sure that they are under the classic suit or, or all your other suits then the next thing it's as simple as just clicking install right and then it's gonna pack everything up and make sure to have everything working by installing it right it's gonna save it all so you just gotta wait be patient right and then we can go to the testing of the mod to see if it is fully functional in the game which I'm really excited to see and definitely let me know if you're enjoying this tutorial so far make sure to drop a like right and subscribe it will help the channel out greatly and you know I'm glad that you guys are using this and because this is one of the coolest mods I've seen for Tango now let's go in game and see what it looks like now if everything went well and you chose whatever modules you wanted to you didn't have to copy me or anything like that i was just showing you that for the purposes 
your suit should look like whatever you selected it as so for my one we've got the fake red lenses there and they're also yellow then we have the black primary color right we've got a huge white emblem there no web wings and then the secondary color is a metallic blue so everything looks fantastic here and i'm really happy with this combo i think it turned out very very well right it almost kind of reminds me of a sort of fantastic four spidey suit almost it looks very cool then we can go check out the differences with the other suits so then you can also notice for your webman dlc suit now you have the yellow lenses fake red um you know um lenses as well and then the white emblem there right then if you go to negative zone suit that stays the same like i said like i said that doesn't change then we've got the classic suit here for the female version right and this one is 100 also changed as well just like the previous one right and then yeah then we just have to sell shaded so let me know if you guys uh need any help in the comments i will do my best to help you out thanks so much for watching i'll share this with you wherever you want have an absolute wonderful day take care of yourselves peace